So I had a special request from Turtle to make a turtle ring. So I'm going to take a six millimeter miracle bead and put it on a 12 inch piece of 20 gauge artistic wire. And then we're just going to wind this around either way, just around that way. I'm going to bring it all the way around here. So it goes on either side of the bead. So then from there, we want to form the head. I'm just going to push these out a little bit more. I'm going to take the round pliers and then just bring this up and then cross a little bit, forming the head. And then I want to make the eye. So we're just going to hold the wire here, form it in a circle to make the eye, but we don't want the eye to be very big. So I start it with the pliers. I give it a little tug to like stretch it out a little bit so it ends up being a little bit smaller because I don't want it too big. You can even pinch it with your pliers if you want. And then we want to take the end. So we're just going to do sort of the nose, bring this one down and then bring it down that way. So. There's like the head of the turtle. You can adjust this part a little bit if you have to. I'm just going to smooth that one out a bit. And then from there, we want to bring it back that way to form the legs. So hold it with the pliers, bend it that way, flip it to the front a little bit, bring this one over so it's a little bit more to the front. It gives it more impression of the bottom of the of the shell. We can also like just kind of bring it down a little further if we need to. I'm going to use the chain nose pliers that are a little bit round on one side and flat in the middle. So just hold this in place and we want to form one of the feet. So we're just going to hold it here, bring it around and that makes one of the little feet. And then you might need some smaller pliers to get in there. So get your needle nose pliers, bring them across. And then we want to do the other foot. So same thing, get your chain nose pliers, hold them in place where you want the other foot to be. Kind of make sure the bead is centered underneath there and bring it around. And that's going to form the other foot. You can pull it in a little bit more if you need to. And then we're just going to take the needle nose pliers and bend it across. So this is what you have so far. And then this part, we're going to just like smooth it out a little bit more. Okay. And then that would make what looks like a cute little turtle. Take this and bend it around to secure it in place. You could coil it a couple of times if you want it just to give sort of a suggestion of a tail. So just coil it there a couple of times. Then we'll give it a clip. I cut my wire too long as usual. And then we can just pinch that end in a little bit. And then we're just going to get the ring mandrel. If you don't have a ring mandrel, just use a marker. Place it on the size you want. Push it in with your thumbs to round it out. And then take this wire and bring it all the way around. So we have the ring, bring it a little further than you need. And then to attach it, we could just stick it in that area there. So make sure it's the size you want. You can like try it on if you like. And then when you have the right position, just hold that in the place you want to bend it with your round pliers and just bend it up at a right angle. So just clip it to about a quarter inch. And then we want to stick it in that area. If it's bent too much, just bend it out a little bit more. So just lift this and stick it just in that area there, right underneath the neck. So just push it in, take the end, bend it around, give it a good little tug, clip it. and make that flush. Just pinch it with your needle nose pliers to get it flush. And now you can put it back on the ring cone and just adjust it how you like. 
And there you have your super cute little turtle ring.